Hey, what's up? Daniel Warren here. I'm in front of St. David's Angelican Church here in Burbank, California, which is right next to Los Angeles. Uh, we just recently got through some of the uh, sort of winter fires that seem to be happening in November. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit smoky and hazy here, but other than that, it's nice and sunny. Uh, this church looks like they just recently put up some new signs. So I think it was previously an older church and now it's a new church. So I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, yeah, all right, I'm going to head inside. Good morning and welcome to St. David. Would you boys please stand with us? We are the people of the risen King, and that's why we can choose not to be afraid. Our God has things in control even when it seems they are not. All right. Here I am in front of St. David's Angelican Church. It turns out on Saturdays it's actually a Seventh Adventist church, so I guess they share it, which, you know, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, the service just got out. Man, it was a packed service, not necessarily with people. There was a lot of people there, though, but with... Uh, content we went over oh man we went over the, the Jesus's commandments two commandments right um, love God and we'll put shortly love God and love your thy neighbor taken from Matthew and we went over some portions of Hebrews and then the main service was about the widower's offering which I think I've heard before but it's a, it's a classic it's a really good one where the widow uh, where Jesus is sort of comparing the widow who presents an offering of about two pennies right few modern day pennies like hardly anything and then the people that are offering a lot and saying well you know she offered so little but that's so much of what she has that that's really good for the heart and I really appreciated that service it was really good and then I went down and um, they had some pizza so I ate some pizza and I sat down with the the um, I don't know what they're called here it's like a pastor or a preacher you know the the head of the church and we had a great conversation he was uh, really down to earth. I'm really glad I got a chance to speak with him. So yeah, I'm at St. David's Angelican Church here in Burbank. And I think I am done for the day. Tummy is full. I'm going to go take a nap or something. Or maybe get some art done. All right, Daniel Warren out. Hey, what's up? I'm outside St. David's Angelican Church here in Burbank, California. Uh, this is actually Thanksgiving today. So uh, this is a special service. I actually went here uh, last Sunday or two Sundays ago. And... Uh, I noticed that they were having a Thanksgiving service, so I thought I would um, drop by and check it out. So I'll probably just include this in the same video and I'll also be part of one, but I am like 10 minutes late, so I am gonna head inside right now.
right? Just got out of St. David's. Yeah, it was just a nice, uh, nice Thanksgiving service. Lots of material. Okay, the thing about this church, this is the second time I've been here. Um, they they just have they have a lot of Bible verses, which I can I appreciate, but it makes it harder for me to remember what everything was said because so much was covered in. The, wow, look at my hair. So much was covered in the in the sermon. I think mainly. Um, it was, there was a sermon, the, I think the main sermon was about, no, no, I'm, I'm recalling, the main sermon was about uh, basically one of the saints, um, basically in Psalms, he was basically, you know, asking for mercy, and um, he was asking, he was very thankful. Uh, so it was a really powerful sermon, it was loud and awesome. Yeah, this it's really good. All right, I think I'm done. Today is Thanksgiving. I'm probably going to go get something to eat at some point, but I'm going to go hang out with a friend right now. All right, I will talk to you later.